like to think that the focus here has always been on trying to help people, right? Through the use of written instructions that were human factored to help them make more, um, help them be more successful than what they could be by on themselves, right? So that's always been the focus. The focus hasn't been on us or as, as a, us as a business of what we could accomplish, but how could we help people? And I know today that may sound like a very tongue in cheek thing to say, right? But it, it really isn't. It's really sincere. You know, our, our focus has always been about how can we give people tools that help write instructions to help people be safer and make sure that they go home at the end of the day. Uh, in 2021, if you look at OSHA's website, someone was dying from a workplace accident like every 101 minutes. It's crazy to think that that happens in the world that we live in today. And so, um, so from that aspect, we looked at it and said, hey, you know, we got to be able to focus on this. And so that's what we do. So I, I think one of the most noble things is we've taught, I think, close to 21,000 people uh, since uh, May of 2008. So I think that is a, is a pretty big accomplishment because we've been able to reach a lot of people. The other thing I would say, too, is not, not only have we been able to reach a lot of people, but those people... Um, have produced some really great results. And we get feedback from people that have attended the class that um, the, the classes have changed people's lives. I mean, there was a person there was years ago that was kind of funny because uh, when in 2008 and 2009 and that time when the stock market crashed and people were losing jobs, people had attended some of our classes. And uh, the one, one most notable person was a person that had uh, worked in the construction industry. And so it owned a construction business and the business went under. And so anyway, I remember him coming to our class down in Florida at the Florida Technical College. And he's like, Steve, I, I, I got to do something here. And so I used to be a radiation safety technician. And um, I've been asked a couple of times about procedures and things. So I thought maybe I could come to this class and maybe that would help, you know, things. So anyway, he owned a big uh, piece of property in, uh, I think, South Carolina. And he was actually selling timber from his property to try to keep from um, going bankrupt and uh, losing his house even, right? And so anyway, I remember one day, I get this phone call from him and he was like in tears. He was just like, Steve, you won't believe, you know, I got this job and I'm writing procedures at a Savannah River. And, you know, I was able to basically keep myself from going bankrupt. And I can't thank you and Darlene enough for everything that you've done. And so it's a, it's kind of like, that's just one little isolated story. But we have a lot of those kind of stories over the years where people have come back to us and said that this has uh, really changed the way they did things. And, and then plants have talked to us about how, you know, they've really changed their performance of what they did and how those things, you know, and then, and I think the biggest uh, thank you can give back, Ken, and again, I don't mean to say this is kind of a, a conceited in a way, but we get, uh, I think if you look at Chevron in particular, I've been to every refinery that they have, and I've been there, if not twice, and I just left, I just went to El Segundo out in California the last week, and that's the fourth time I've been there. So I think that kind of tells you, and it's not just so much me or procedure solutions. I think it's a lot of credit to the industry standards that were created and, and it's all the people involved. And so I, I think that's what I would probably say.